So, uh, if you could not use your phone for 24 hours, uh, what would you spend your day? Actually, my passion, I have one passion okay. in singing. Mm. <laughs> so, I hey, usually... I didn't know that. <laughs> <laughs> I have an idea. We create one song sure. uh, and the song title is Cybersecurity, I Love You. Okay? Correct. <laughs> we can do that. <laughs> So, uh, do you think everyone should learn cybersecurity? I prefer learning cybersecurity is a good thing, like for everybody, mm -hmm. because uh, there are so many scams and all nowadays happening. Mm -hmm. So I guess like uh, if at least some like at least all people if they have some knowledge about cybersecurity, it'll be like safe for them to be mm -hmm. in a technological world mm -hmm. because nowadays technology is everywhere. Yes, like correct. day by day, it's mm -hmm. moving on to people's Good. life. So yeah, I guess it's better for people to learn cybersecurity. Mm -hmm. It's best, I guess. Okay, so you would recommend all I would recommend. And you recommend your friends to, oh, to, to be my Obviously, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Obviously, I always tell my friends like you should get Mr. Zo for one at least one module. <laughs> you'll be like, yeah, you'll learn everything. Oh, thank you. <laughs> uh, what are your thoughts on the cybersecurity courses here mm. in PSP? Wonderful, I would say. And why I say that because we not only emphasize on just the boring theory aspect. Okay, I will. I mean, I, I am a program leader so for cybersecurity, so I will ensure that the modules, right, in, inculcate some kind of hands-on practice, uh, make sure that this uh, hands-on project is related to the industry of life. So I, I think we are moving towards that, and everyone is uh, happy uh, to, to, move, to move towards that because they get excited, they want to know that, hey, I want to come over to, to my class or, or anybody's class because there's a project to learn and there's some code and command that they can learn. So I, I think the uh, overall PSB has done quite well. Um, in fact, going to be wonderful. I think they, they want to even uh, considering uh, even opening up a cyber lab. Okay? So I think that would be good for PSB and for the lecturers and also for the students. Yeah. Even when I first came here, mm. I had zero knowledge about cybersecurity. Mm, there you go. Like I wanted to learn cybersecurity, but I had no knowledge. Mm. <laughs> but after I started doing my courses here, I learned a lot of stuff. Uh, yes, yeah, yes, yes. in a fun so, way. In a fun way, correct. <laughs> <laughs> With lecturers <laughs> like you, yeah, obviously. <laughs> what grade would you give yourself as uh -huh. a lecturer, and why? Is it ten? That will be eleven upon you ten. You can. <laughs> I feel good. <laughs> <laughs> you can grade yourself <laughs> out of 10, out of 5. Well, uh, I would say a modest, maybe around average 8 like that. Wait a minute. The moment you mention about cybersecurity, oh, people will start to yawn. But how to make it interesting, that is the challenge, right? True. So, and especially students coming in, they don't have experience. So you need to make fun and you need to make the seriousness somewhere in between. You know, and you tell them that this is serious but you can learn it in a fun way, then they get it interesting. So I think I managed to do that. Uh, mm -hmm. I mean, I can see from the results, from the students and you laughing, <laughs> sitting beside me. So I guess I would rate myself around eight, maybe nine, maybe up again, nine, nine plus maybe. As students, we will give you 10 out of 10. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very much. <laughs> okay, what do you usually do if you are stuck on an assignment. I will like ask help from my friends. Mm -hmm. I even like do some research and get like uh, ideas mm -hmm. to like get over those mm -hmm. hurdles. Mostly my friends and my professors, you like you, <laughs> everybody helps me with uh -huh. the assignments. Like whenever I'm stuck, mm -hmm. like PSB so is very supportive. So you don't feel supportive. lost. You don't feel lost in PSB. Right? Sometimes I felt like I felt lost. Mm. Uh, in the beginning stages because okay. I didn't know what to do. Mm. Like when I came to PSB, I didn't know many people. And right, right. Like day by day, uh, I started moving uh, like moving around mm. the campus and I got so many friends. Mm -hmm. uh, having more friends, more conversations, more conversations and also yes, yes. I know like whom to ask who, uh, right, right. like what, whom to ask what. Okay. And then I got some, so many helps uh -huh. from my friends and my professors and everybody. Good. So I never felt lost after that. How well do you think you did for your final year project? How well? 
I think I did well. This is quite did, reason, huh? Yeah, quite reason. <laughs> <laughs> Yesterday only. <laughs> yeah. Mm. So uh, after even after I submit my report, I felt so uh, like sure mm. that I can score well ah, and I okay. can pass my module. I think I did pretty well in yes, my title uh, project. Yes, I, I actually haven't marked it yet. But, I know. Uh, <laughs> Yesterday when you showed me your demo and your samples, right, and uh, you kind of like impressed uh, the way, uh, the create, the, the how you uh, create the, the project from nothing to something. Correct. So I'm very proud of you. Thank you so, thank you so much. <laughs>